so hey guys today i'm just gonna sit down with you guys and chat and do my makeup at the same time so hopefully you guys get ready with me also and enough talking and let's just get to it so i got my makeup bag right here and we're gonna start with priming my face i already put my moisturizer so hooked it up already actually no stop we need some gems up in here because, let's be honest, no one gets ready without putting some music on, so. Alright, so today, I don't know, I honestly want to use a primer. I hardly ever use primer, but I have these two primers. I feel like I'm going to go with the Neutrogena one. Let's try it out, and I'm going to use that with my beauty blender, the booty blender. And mix that shit in. I used to use this a long time ago and I stopped using it. And yesterday I found it as I was cleaning my stuff out. And I was just like, why don't I ever use this? But, like, there's a lot of stuff in my, like, drawers. And a lot of clothes that I really do not even wear or remember that I have. And I feel like that's like one of my New Year's resolution to like wear most of my clothes because I'm the type of person that wears something until it's like not wearable again. I get obsessed over something. So I really, 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 really need to stop doing that. All right, after that, I'm going to be taking my um, Maybelline Rewind Aging Concealer. And like you guys already know if you watch my videos, I do not use like foundation because I just feel like it's too cakey and tacky on my face. Like, personally, I don't like foundation. But if you guys like foundation, kudos to you, girl. Because, I don't know, I stopped wearing foundation, I would say, senior year. And I honestly have not used foundation ever since. Like, I literally have not used foundation. And I feel like it's done so, so much to my skin. I feel like my skin has improved a lot since then. I don't know if it's because not wearing like actual like makeup because I honestly you guys I used to wear like full on like foundation and everything before in high school because I had acne and I was like so insecure about it but like after I stopped caring I was like why do I even care you know everybody breaks out and shit so I stopped wearing it and I feel like it really did good to my skin after that so maybe it was that or maybe i don't know i drink a lot of water i think that's also another thing it's just a lot of things put together that really help your face out and i'm just gonna put a little bit more because sometimes it doesn't like catch on real well oops oh my god i'm over here making a mess It's very neutral colors and it has a little bit of pop colors it has a little bit of like bold colors but honestly i don't even use like the colors from this palette to be honest i'm a very basic bitch so all right we're gonna take buff from the pro palette and use that as a base for all of this up in here and blend that out I'm gonna take um Ulti Brown from the Pro Palette and blend that in my crease so we get a smoky look. And honestly, you guys, I honestly been really lazy with my makeup lately. I really do not do my makeup. Like after I get out of work, I look at my makeup and I'm like do I really want to take off my makeup tonight? And I'm just like, no, I really don't. I'm like super duper lazy. Especially how I go to work. And if I don't go to work, I go to school. And both of them, I wake up super duper early. So I feel like I have no time to do my makeup. I mean, if I was more motivated, I feel like I would. But I have no motivation to do my makeup. Like, at all. Alright, I'm just gonna dust that off because it still has a lot of pigment on there. And I'm gonna take, from my Rock and Roll Too Faced palette, I'm gonna take this neutral color that's on here. And just blend 
what I just did so it doesn't look harsh because we ain't want no harsh ass lines up in here alrighty right alright next I'm gonna take cool gray and this color is right there it's really dark but we're gonna add a little bit of, and I say a little bit don't go crazy now and we're gonna add that in the very end and just blend that in okay so for the middle I feel like I'm gonna use this color buff and really like carve out not carve out but like really make it stand out in the beginning so that it looks like more natural rather than adding a glitter or all that fancy shimmy is right or should I use snow no that has a little bit of glitter I don't want glitter all right like I said, it's not going to be carved out. It's just going to make it pop more. So when we put our eyeliner, it looks more spiffy. Ooh. And I'm also going to use that buff color and put it on the, like, the top of my eyebrow. So it highlights it a little bit. And... You guys, I've been like so obsessed with my eyebrows. I went to go get them done by my girl Lena. Oh god. And I do like I obsess over my eyebrows. Like it's the most satisfying thing getting my eyebrows done because I feel like it just like completes the face. Personally, I feel like it does. And I don't I have like pretty thick eyebrows. I don't really like coloring them in. So when I get them done, it's just like oh, I feel like a complete woman. You feel? Honestly, you guys, this eyeliner is like the best eyeliner ever. I promise you guys. If you guys like love matte eyeliner, you gotta get this one. I got it for Christmas from my mom, and it was like the best thing ever. I'm gonna apply some eyelash mascara. Alright, so after I'm done doing my mascara, I'm gonna take. Oh god, my hair's a mess. You guys, I feel really weird like recording with like a bun because you guys, I really never record with a bun. But, little story for you guys. So I went to go get a haircut, you know, and I wanted to try something new because I was like, I'm so basic over here with my hair. And I was like, I want to try something new. So I go and get a haircut and I was like to the lady, I was like, just give me some bangs, some front bangs, you know, because I wanted to go for the Selena Gomez look back when she had bangs for like a week. And she was like, okay. So she gave me bangs and... You know, the first couple days, they don't look great. Like, any haircut you get, I feel like it doesn't look great the first days you get it. Because you need your hair to, like, get used to it. So, I straightened my bangs for a couple days. And it looked hideous. Hideous. Like, curly hair and bangs just doesn't mix. So, yeah, I have right here, like, a little mullet. If I don't... I have a little mullet right here when I wake up every morning. Of just, like, curly, small curly hairs. And it's just... I regret it I really do regret it but I mean at least I will never get bangs again cuz that was a fail and my sister and my mom are making fun of me because they were like but you wanted bangs where are your bangs I'm just like I don't want to talk about it all right so next I'm just brushing on my um I was gonna say eyelashes I'm just brushing on my eyebrows Making them look a little bougie, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? Alright. Now for my favorite part. These two. And I kind of pat it a little bit off. Because we don't want to over powder our face. 
Okay, and then I like to take sunburst, the lightest color, and add that in the middle, like the highest point of the highlight. And that right there. Oof. Girl. Do you see that? Do you see that glow? I hope you guys could see that through the camera because now that right there is a highlight. All right. This is honestly like my favorite part of doing my makeup. I used to like hate, hate highlight, but I feel like I feel like I used to hate it because I used to have acne. So like acne and like highlight, I feel like that just did not mix well. It just looked like really textured and a little bit, a little bit weird, you know? And I'm also going to take that and add that in my nose, like an exclamation mark. How Patrick Star does it. Do you guys see that? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Oh, you know what I got? I forgot to set my face. Let's do that right now. Because right now I'm going to take my beauty blender also and just like dab on my highlighter so it blends in. It sinks in our skin. I don't look like a greasy mess at the end of the day. And I had a brush for this. But I think my mom took it. It was her brush, but how dare she? How dare you, mother? All right. And with the other side of my beauty blender, I'm just going to dab onto my highlight. So that sink soaks in my skin naturally. Can you guys see that? I'm in love. I'm in love with the go go. Alright. We done with that pot. This is Echo and it's just like a really, really, really dark blue color. And I got this for um 4th of July. I don't know why. I just wanted like a bold color. And I've been obsessed with it ever since. Alright, anyways, this is um, my final look, so hopefully you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe, a thumbs up, and hopefully you guys also got ready with me because I honestly really enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. I've never done a get ready talk with you guys, and I hope that you guys are doing well. Comment down below, what are you guys up to, what are your New Year's resolutions, anything you want, just, you know, comment down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. You my everything.